The brass section is at the very back of the orchestra and includes trumpets, trombones, and horns. Sometimes a tuba is included, which can play very low notes. Brass instruments are made of brass and make sound by vibrating your lips into a mouthpiece. The long brass tube of the instrument amplifies the sound and creates a very loud and brilliant tone. <laughs> This is a trombone. I need to show us how to really play it. My name is Andy, and I play trombone in the New West Symphony. The trombone is a member of the brass family of all the instruments that are in the orchestra and like all of the other brass instruments it's made of brass, it has a mouthpiece and a bell. The different kinds of brass instruments are in different sizes but they all work the same way. So on the trombone we buzz our lips into the mouthpiece going from to to into the horn The trombone becomes very different from all of the other brass instruments. It's the only brass instrument that has a slide. And we move the slide to different lengths to be able to play a lot of different notes. On the trombone, there are seven different positions. So when we buzz our lips, we're playing in one of seven positions on the trombone. each one of those seven positions, by changing our lips, making them tighter or looser, we can play a whole bunch of different notes. From loose lips, playing the lowest note, tightening them, the notes go higher, the longer the slide is, or the tubing on any of the brass instruments, the lower the sound is going to be. So when I push the slide out, you'll be able to hear the sound go lower, and you can see the length of the instrument change. So here we go. This is the Playing Mantis, and it's a piece that was made by an artist in Maine whose name is Lou Mastro. And it's a found metal sculpture. The trombone is a real trombone, and then there are various other parts on it. There's a railroad spike, there are truck springs, there's rebar, and there's an old tractor part. I don't quite know what the antennas are made of, but um, this was a unique enough piece that when I saw it in his studio, I decided that uh, it had to live at my house. John plays the French horn. It is the hardest instrument to play in the brass section. The French horn is really cool looking. It reminds me of a snail. <laughs> John and I play horn with the New West Symphony. 
My instrument, the horn, is related to the trumpet, the trombone, and the tuba because we are all members of the brass family. We all buzz our lips, we all use a mouthpiece, we all play through a lot of tubing. In my case, it starts out rather small and narrow, goes through a lot of tubing here, at least, you know, 12 feet of tubing, and comes out the big bell end here, right here on the horn. Now you may have seen the, the trombone with Andy playing and he showed you the slide. But on the horn, we have to use a set of valves right here in order to play all the notes like you would on a piano. We have a lot of valve combinations to learn and by doing so, when we learn those valve combinations, we can play a chromatic scale. <laughs> Sometimes we can play very low, and almost like a tuba. But it's not a very powerful sound. The tuba is a lot more powerful down there. Or we can play high sometimes. You can also play... Uh, very heroic sometimes. The horn is known as one of the more difficult instruments to play and that's because the notes tend to be closer together. Right here when we go to play with our lips the notes feel very close together so it, it's hard to hard to learn the instrument many times but once you do once you do, as you can tell, the horn has a really nice mellow sound, a beautiful mellow sound. 